friends and welcome again to the word. I'm Sildikine Shewa and our topic for today is who do you say I am? Who do you say I am? A number of times we know people and we define them based on who they are to us or who they come across you know to be when we just observe what they do but many a times our definition of them may be wrong maybe as wrong as wrong could be but then how do we explain when we need to relate to people based on what God has called them to be what God has ordained them to be is simply a matter of knowing people not only after the flesh but after the spirit <laughs> that may be a bit of a tricky thing for most of us let's like dig, let's dig into the word open with me to Matthew the book of Matthew 16 and I read from 13 to 19 Matthew 16 I read from 13 when Jesus came onto the coast of Caesarea Philippi he asked his disciples saying whom do men say that I the son of man am and they said some say that thou art John the Baptist some Elias and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets he said unto them that is Jesus said unto them but whom say ye that I am 16 and Simon Peter answered and said thou art the Christ the son of the living God and Jesus answered and said unto him blessed art thou Simon bar Jonah the flesh for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee but my father which is in heaven and I say also unto thee that thou art Peter and upon this rock upon this rock upon this revelation I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it upon the revelation that Jesus is Christ the son of the living God the church is built and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven interesting even Christ took his disciples on a journey of discovery for them to really know that he is Christ to alleviate any kind of confusion because a number of times we know people we think we know people but we don't really know them but based on the Word of God today we need to not only know people after the flesh after what we can see but we need to know them after the spirit the spirit behind them leading them into doing what God has ordained them to do or otherwise in case they're not being directed by the Spirit of God we need the, our eyes of understanding to be open to know people after the Spirit not only after the flesh is that okay anyway let's go on come with me to Philippians 3 10 to 14 Philippians 3 I read 10 to 14 that I may know him and the power of his resurrection that's that's a, a prayer we should adopt as Christians children of the Most High God we need to be able to say that that I may know him that we know Christ and the power 
of his resurrection. That the power that raised Christ from the dead manifest in us and raise us from wherever we may be dead and bound. I read again 10, Philippians 3.10, that I may know him, that I may know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead not as though I had already attained we're not saying we have attained we're not saying we know it all there's still more we can get from God there's still more intimacy we can get into with God okay either we're already perfect we're not saying we are perfect okay but I follow after if that's we're already perfect but I follow after if that I may apprehend that's for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus brethren I count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing I do this one thing I do forgetting those things that are behind and reaching forth onto those things which are before me hallelujah 14 I press forward I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I read 14 again. I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. There's a price. There's a price. Serving God, there is a price. So let's keep pressing. Let's keep moving forward. Don't let's get tired. Or don't let's think, okay, we have arrived. <laughs> There's nothing like that in Christ because it gets better and better all the time. The more we draw closer to God, the more God will reveal himself to us, okay? Now, um, finally, let's read the book of Colossians 3. I read one to four. If ye then, Colossians 3, one to four, one. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things, which are above, where Christ seated on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Hallelujah. It seems at times in this world when we seek to acquire so many things in the area of academics, in the area of business, in the area of attaining what the society is placing before us. I don't let us forget that our purpose on this earth is to do the will of God because it doesn't have a hand here. There is still heaven and there is still hell. So let us know who we are in Christ. In all our getting, let us get understanding that yes, we will abound on earth. We will be prosperous. We will have dominion. That is God's purpose. But then we should also remember we are ambassadors on earth and we should secure our place in Christ in heaven because our life is hid in Christ our life is hid in Christ okay so don't let us take ourselves out of that hiding place because we know our life will go beyond this earth that we will live forever in Christ so let us abide in Christ even as we achieve all the great things God has ordained for us to achieve on earth, as he has said that we will have dominion, let us also remember 
knowing who Christ is and why he came to die. I always pray that the blood of Jesus concerning my life will not go down in vain. And the same prayer for you, that the blood of Jesus that was shed for your life will not go down in vain. And we will shine in glory and we will dominate on earth as God has promised. So who do you say I am? Who do you say you are in Christ? That's all I've got time for today. It's so amazing that we have a relationship with God and we are who he says he is. Not who men say we are because they only know us in the flesh. But for those that know us in the spirit, know that we belong to God and our life is hid in Christ with God. We're destined to win. Please subscribe to this channel. Give me thumbs up if you enjoyed my presentation today. And remember to share this channel with others so that we can grow it. So nice sharing with you again today. Till next time, bye for now.